Hello everybody, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, where <coughs> I did not disable Omen, because I decided just to record an extra episode today. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not really sure why I have Omen to begin with, since I don't dungeon or raid much at all, so I never really need to worry about aggro. Like, you know, have, you know, having too much aggro or whatever. Um, this path seems to be being taken right now, so let's go the other way. Um, but yeah, so we're back with Ronowen, uh, on the server of Moonguard. Uh, once again, that is an RP server. Uh, if you do want to come join, you can feel free to. Um, I would just really recommend being interested in role-playing. Um, or no, excuse me, while Warm Rest Accord. My home server is Moonguard, but I've been considering moving to Warm Rest. Um, because, like, I used to play on Warm Rest, but uh, the Moonguard has a lot better, like, alliance roleplay. Um, I've been debating coming back because I just prefer Horde, let's be honest. Um, like, I like Draenei and stuff like that, but I just prefer playing Horde, so, but, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I haven't had the money to worry about it, so, like, I haven't had the money to, like, server and faction change my characters. That's, like, $55 per character to server and faction change. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's way too much money. Or at least for me at the moment. So. And we have not fought any of the tainted arcane race yet. This quest actually used to be really hard. In um, Burning Crusade. Because you'd get up here and there would be these tainted arcane race and the regular arcane race. And they all these guys were aggressive. So like. As soon as you got up here and started attacking Thalendron. Like, you aggroed everything. You would aggro, like, an arcane wraith and a painted arcane wraith. And it was absolutely obnoxious. Um, I like the fact that they made them non-aggressive, but at the same time, it kind of sucks. Like, during uh, Wrath of the Lich King, they went in and decided, oh, a lot of these enemies, you know, a lot of, like, the starting zones have, like, the aggressive enemies. And we don't like that, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, and then, I guess they didn't like the idea in the end, and went back to having aggressive enemies in the starting zones. Except that they never, like, modified the previous, the, like, um, Draenei and bought off starting zones again. We found an odd sliver of crystallized mana on the corpse of the tainted arcane wraith. The sliver is different than the others. You may have seen the, seen it. You may have seen it that it is as dark. Whatever. It is as dark and sinister looking as the race you looted it from. Just holding it gives you a sense of unnatural foreboding. Arcaeus Teleon at the gazebo of the Sun Spire on Sunstrider Isle just might be someone who would have a use for that, the sliver. So I do need to find one more tainted arcane wraith. Um, should be around here somewhere. There's really only two in this area, though. I think I may have to go back up here to find it, since they're starting to respawn again. Because there's the Tainted Arcane Wraith. Um, I think they may be the only two in the entire, like, area. No, there's another one over there. All right. Yeah, see, like, this is, like, the way that, that it normally is. You would attack Falendron, and you would immediately aggro two of these Tainted Arcane Wraiths. And it was not fun. <laughs> You know, so that was not fun at all. So luckily they fixed it, which is nice. I don't have any complaints with them fixing that. I Like I said, my only complaint is I do miss having the aggressive mobs in the starting zone. I do wish that they would like bring those back because like all the others in the starting zones have them. So why not these guys? Hey, there's another one over there. Um, 
I just gonna jump in the water. <laughs> and we're just gonna swim because that's a long way down. Wow, I actually took damage from falling in the water. Usually you don't do that. I think that I landed in like a spot where the water wasn't deep enough. And that's why. So, I don't know. All I know is I got the achievement going down. Fall 65 yards without dying. That would have been embarrassing if I had died right there. <laughs> and like, yeah, let's jump in the water. Because, you know, we won't die if I just jump in the water and then I died. That would have been really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, what can you do, though? Alright, this should be our last quest here on Sunstrider Isle, bro. Heed well this warning. Philandra in the Bench is only a symptom of a much larger problem. His demise will solve our immediate concerns, but all blood elves share the potential same fate as him if we let our addictions get the best of us. Philandra's, Philandra's head. You are to be commended, Ronowen. You succeeded where others like Philandra have utterly failed. Perhaps you are truly ready to be a contributing member of Blood Elf Society. Success here means that you are capable of surviving the greater threats that lurk in Eversong. And believe me, there are plenty to face. Time is and we have health stones. We still do not have any actual, like, attacking abilities. As tricks at Arona, I want you to head over to Silverman City in order to aid our reclamation efforts there. That is, once you had successfully addressed the situation at Falthrian Academy, you did not disappoint us, Ronowen. On, on your way to Falconwing Square, south of here, you should speak with Outrunner Alarian. She's not far from the bridge. The Outrunners take care of shutting, shuttling goods between here and the mainland. Since you've proven to be so resourceful, they could use your Stay assistance. The course. Oh yeah, that's right, we have this quest over here that I gotta turn into, because of the tainted arcane sliver. So, usually that's where I go though for the arcane slivers, you get them in the, uh, um, against the wraith there. So, I think they've recently, I think the arcane slivers being Victory brought by the others ahead. is like new, like Cataclysm new, not new new. Your demeanor, you seem to be on a matter of some urgency. Is there something specific I can assist you with? This is most interesting. And when I say interesting, I mean more disturbing than anything else. Our efforts to reassert control over the Isle in the time following the destruction of the Sunwell has been a challenge. I suspect that whatever foul source is corrupting the Isle is at the heart of it all. This sliver may be of some aid in uncovering what's really going on. You're wise to bring this to me, Ronowen. Take this as compensation for your diligence. Hold your head Thank you. Alright then. So, now we can go all the way down to here. Just not too far away. But after that, then we have to go all the way the heck down here. And that's going to be quite a travel. Actually, let's go ahead and summon our chauffeur. Just because it is a little bit of a trek, and this is, I think it's like 30% speed. It's not 60. At least if it is, I'm. It doesn't feel like it. So, I don't really know though. But it's fa It is faster than walking, but it's not that much faster. So, I don't know. You get this from getting a lot of heirlooms, though. So that's the thing. <laughs> I love watching him jump out of the motorcycle when you do that. It's hilarious. So we have this health stone, and I'm probably never going to use that, but whatever. Let's just keep going. Well, hello there, Warlock. I heard that the resourceful young blood elf formerly in the service of Magic Zerona might be making their way down here to help us out, run us out. We certainly welcome the help, especially from someone who's proven to be so competent. I hope you're interested in running an errand or two for us. It's a hard work being an outrunner between Sunstrider Isle and Falcon Wing Square. Tight deadlines, long hours, and worst of all, the wretched! The road south goes through the ruins of Silvermoon. The place is crawling with wretched, ready to kill you for a few mana crystals. Fortunately, I think that's what happened to the last outrunner we sent with one of Verona's packages. 
I see you're eager to prove yourself. Venture in the dawning lane and see if you can find any traces of our to all who oppose us. Let's go ahead and leave the local defense since I don't need to be in local defense. Because the local defense is actually kind of an obnoxious channel. Is I don't PvP much, really at all. Let's go ahead and stop here because where our Outrunner is. I love that she's like right here at the entrance where there's like no wretched even at. The Outrunner's belongings have all been stolen with the exception of one package. It seems to match Elon's description of Arona's package. You take the package and confirm that it, in, that it indeed comes from Magistrix Arona. Alarion would probably want you to bring it to her. And while we're running back, I will finish setting this up. Come on, click the things. Level channels, show class color. I wish that was on by default, but oh well. Whatevs. It doesn't seem like a very active day State today here on Warm Rest Accord. What did you find, Ronowen? By the Sun Wild, that's the third out runner we've lost this month. I appreciate your courage in venturing into Dawning Street. Guards need to keep a closer eye on this blasted sure wretched. Run. The death of another outrunner is a true tragedy, but it is but it's a risk we all accept when we take the job. Magistrix Arona, the Sunspire, needs to get this package to the inn at Falconwing Square, and she needs it there as soon as possible. We're short handed. I don't have anyone else available to cover for us. I'm not gonna lie to you. The path to Wing Falconwing Square can be extremely dangerous if you leave the safety of Donning Lane. Do you feel up to the task, Ronowen? Keep your wits about you. I mean, let's be honest. It's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and summon our show first and we have to go all the way down here. I actually clicked just before it summoned. I like, kind of interrupted it, but it also like gave it to me. I love it. See, it doesn't actually tell you the speed here, but I'm pretty sure that it can't be more than 60%. It's actually not all that fast. <laughs> also, I look ridiculous. I... On the other hand, this is kind of a long way, so I will gladly use the extra speed boost to get down here. I always thought that it was ridiculous that you had to go all the way down here to then come back and do quests in this area. It's a long way away, so... But that's alright. We are good to go. Magister Geronis, the arcane patrollers crafted by our forefathers to protect the city have fallen into a dangerous state of disrepair. They fail to recognize us as their masters and will attack us on sight. Even though they were created many years ago, the arcane cores that power them are still quite useful and valuable to us. I want you to gather these cores and bring, and bring them to me so I can put them to good use again. You find the patrollers in the ruined section of Silvermoon to the northwest. So now we can actually ignore quests. Before we could just accept quests. Now we can also ignore quests, which is nice. We will have justice. If you ignore a quest, it like deactivates the quest and you have to actually come back and talk to the person again to actually accept it. Like, if I do this, I do ignore. I come and be like, you've hidden the quest. Talk to the quest giver again to get it back. Ta-da! And I can just unignore it and then it comes back. City of Silverman hereby issues a reward for the head of Thales the Hunger, notorious wretched ringleader. He's wanted for repeated crimes against the general populace of Silverman City, including the murder of two city guards. Port to Sergeant Conran to collect the reward. All right, we'll bring his head back to the. The uh, eternal sun What's his name us. over that's over here? Sergeant Conran. A group of wretched recently raided a supply of unstable mana crystals from one of our arcane sanctums. If not handled properly, the crystals could explode with enough force to blow a hole in the city walls. Now, Ronowen, I don't quite care if they blow themselves up while tapping unstable arcane sources, but the whole incident would make my men look bad. Bring me back any remaining stolen crystals that you find. They may still be inside their original We will place. have justice. Um, so let's go ahead and stop by the mailbox. It's right over here. There it is. And there it is, our obnoxious toy that I have to come in and delete. Because it's a toy, and despite being a toy, they have never actually changed Glorious that. 
So, I think I already have... Oh, this is a new pet. Time cool, racial pet! I did we not know that. I don't think I had that one anyway. That didn't look familiar. Golden Dragon Wing Hawk Hatchling. I may have to go in and make one of each character, one of each race, just for the sake of getting the uh, racial pets. That would be hilarious. I have one of a kind items. Plating the delivery. Welcome to my inn, Willock. I might understand that you have something for me. Thank you. I do appreciate the prompt delivery. While you're here, please make yourself comfortable. If you haven't done so already, feel free to get a hearthstone and bind yourself here. Using your hearthstone will allow you to recall to, uh, to an inn once every half hour. If you ever lose your hearthstone, simply return to any inn. An innkeeper will gladly get you a new one. So, it really doesn't matter what I get here. Normally I would pick the water because I'm Remember a warlock and that well. restores your mana. Except for the fact Everything that um, price. your mana restores so quick it's ridiculous. Let me go ahead and set my hearthstone here. And then go ahead and put Time that in the first slot the there. Um, you know, notice that I had turned on the uh, extra action bars in the first episode. And we will be using quite a few of them actually. As you can see, I have my mounts here. I have my uh, hearthstone here. I actually have my outfit which I'm going to now set. Um, current gear. Um, and then we can set like role play gear and stuff like that. And then we'll just keep this up to date. And then we can just grab this and drop it right over here. And then once we have more outfits, we can swap between them, which is awesome. So, I like to collect role playing gear because this is a role playing server. Um, so I'll collect a bunch of different gear, and so I'll have like three or four outfits of different gear to wear. It's like, yeah, you can go in and transmog, but you can only do that for like one set of gear, you know? And it's like, if I want to like run around in Gul'dan's set from the Argent Tournament, I can't exactly do that. If I'm, you know, got myself transmog to wear, um, I don't know, Black Mage Weave or something like that. Um, so I will do that. Like I'll have like a black mage weave outfit and then like a Gul'dan's outfit and you know, I'll pick my main like RP gear as my like transmog, but then I'll turn around and have like other RP gear as well. So now you can get the unstable mana crystals from these crates, which is well, I always get them, but you can also kill wretched, which it doesn't show once again, as it didn't show with the cubs either, but last time I did this quest, I was picking some up from them too, so, I don't know. It's like they, they're supposed to have them, so, that guy didn't, but whatever. Once we get our void walker, we won't have to worry about these stupid, using this stupid imp anymore, which will be nice. Like, he'll just hold aggro. The Void Walker will just hold aggro. And that'll be good. So. And there you saw, like, aggro going back and forth between me and the imp. And I wasn't dealing enough damage to, like, keep the aggro on me. So. Alright, we still need a couple more of these arcane cores. I see that this is like bugged. Cause this is like this intersection is supposed to be blue. And it's like not. Unless there, unless that's a change, it's not a bug. I don't really know. Cause like that kind of feels like a bug to me. Because it used to just like the the inside of the circle used to be like blue. But I could also see that being a feature where they like remove that because sometimes you have like multiple circles and then they would like overlap and it would look really weird and awkward and stuff so I don't really know. I don't know if bug or feature. So 
Pink Tent is feature, not bug. <laughs> you guys might remember that if you watched my uh, uh, SLIR, um, SLH RPG series. Um, speaking of SLH RPG, I plan to do SLA RPG whenever Bobby Schroeder releases uh, SLA RPG. It's basically SLH RPG, but it's like um, like reworked with new characters and stuff. It's like it's the same story or a very similar story, but like just modified to not include MLP characters. <laughs> but I guess like he got like in trouble from Hasbro for it or something. So they like wanted him to just not have the game out anymore. Because I guess, you know, that kind of thing is just not like acceptable to Hasbro. Which I think is stupid. <laughs> what can you do though? I think that type of thing should be acceptable to Hasbro, but eh, I'm not Hasbro, so what do I know? Just kill a couple extras of these guys as I'm making my way back, so that I can get there without like too much of a hassle. So without, like, I mean, I'm going to aggro them anyway, so I might as well just kill them, like, before they aggro to me. So, it just makes, I mean, that just makes sense to me, personally. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe that's just me, though. Back into the Dawning Lane. It's sad that these are still the ruins of Silver Moon. Like, I would love to see them update this, but, no, nope. apparently the world-changing expansion wasn't reason enough to, you know, change the world. Have you succeeded in gathering the arcane cores yet, Radoan? We've done well, Radoan. With our arcane sanctums not operating at full capacity, these power cores will go a long way in su supplementing our needs. <coughs> I'm pleased to discover that you're at least somewhat competent, Ronowen. I'll give you another task, since you seem so eager to prove yourself. This is a letter to Lay Keeper Caldanus, the arcanist in charge of the upkeep of the North Sanctum. Go southwest of Falconwing Square, and you'll find him. He's a very important person, so I hope you don't bother him too much with trivial chatter. Alright, let's go talk to Sergeant Cameron over here. Victory lies ahead. Thales's head. You have something to show me? The scoundrel Thales finally met his fate. Good job, Anwen. Things should be quiet with the wretched for Remember a while. Remember the sun well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. State your business. Did you retrieve the stolen goods yet? Excellent work, Anwen. Besides the constant threat that the wretched represent, I also have to deal with all kinds of fictitious reports of night elf sightings. The most reports are unfound. One recent incident demands further investigation. The West Sanctum, one of our primary energy sources, has suffered a terrible malfunction, and rumors of Darnassian sabotage are rampant. Travel there and deal with anyone that looks suspicious. Report back to Lake Keeper Valania, who watches over the Sanctum. The reckoning is at hand. All right. So now we get to head off to the North Sanctum and turn in this letter. Uh, looks like we have Bane of Agony, or just Agony now. Agony damage sometimes generates one soul shard. Not that we have any abilities that use soul shards yet, but okay. Aye, aye, aye. I swear, I feel like I'm playing Affliction right now. <laughs> I want to be Distraction. I want my incinerates and conflagrates and all kinds of other nasty things that I can do, which are so much fun. Glory to the Sindora. Yes, Warlock. Thank you, Ronowen. I've been expecting this letter. Farewell. Since you are here, Ronowen, I have a favor to ask you. Laykeeper Valania's apprentice dropped by earlier to ask for assistance. Apparently, there's some malfunctioning happening at the West Sanctum. 
I've been a bit dizzy, busy entertaining our most pleasant dwarven guest. See if you can give her a hand. You'll find the West Sanctum Chirella southwest of here. All right. Ooh, we have to do this quest series. This is one of my favorite sets of quests. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use the um, heirloom mount because it's a long way of travel, that both directions for this one. You there, you must help me, please. Fellow apprentice and I were attacked by the wretched. Their mad hunger for magic, they took everything they could get their hands on. Mana crystals, wands, spellbooks, everything. Meldor gave them, gave chase after them. I had to stay behind and look after what they didn't take. Continue down the road and see if we can lend me a hand. We go ahead and summon our show for a mount. It's not that far down this way, but like, once I come back from completing this one, it will be. So, it can be a little obnoxious. I wonder if people are like looking at me like, this is a person with a chauffeur mount, but yet they're using all the regular gear. What the heck? They're gone now. Scared the breeches out of them with a well-placed fireball. Fortunately for me, they threw our precious cargo into Death the river. to all who oppose us. Those blasted wretched sure can run fast at the sight of someone who will stand up to them. Let's not worry about that now. I need to find my instructor's elemental grimoire. I'm certain I saw one of those cowards throw it into the river, but I cannot seem to be able to locate it. I could use another set of eyes. I thought a bit of coins if you spot We it. will have justice. Yeah, it's right over here. You mean this glowing red, glowing yellow tome? And the all's elemental grimoire. It's soaked. Our enemies will fall. No luck. Fall. Keep looking. The book is of utmost importance. Well, luck. The book is completely soaked. Instructor Anthiel's not going to take. Guys, not going to like this at all. Here, take this money. I have an idea. Anthiel is going to fly off his rocker when he finds out his book is ruined. I've got a little proposal for you. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Take this book to him and tell him nothing of this incident. If he asks, just tell him you dropped the book into a puddle. He has no direct authority over you, so there's not much he can do. Anthiel delivers his lectures at Still Whisper Pond, southeast of Silver Moon. You'll do this for us, right? I award you hands and Yeah, don't try to trust somebody else to lie for you, bud. It doesn't work out very well. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I should have put my new robe. Yay! Mildly sexy robe. I like it. It's nice. And since we're running through here, we might as well stop and collect this quest over here. And do this one real fast. Let's make our way up over here. There's supposed to be an NPC. There she is. See, it's quite a long ways over that way to get to the rest of this the quest here. Black swath of soil that cuts through Eversong Woods is a permanent reminder of the day Arthas led the scourge into our beloved city. This blemish is more than an eyesore, as even today it brings scourge from the ghost lands to Silver Moon. Go, Ronowen, and give my men a hand in killing the mindless undead that walk down the dead scar. Remember the sun well. Alright, so we got a couple of quests here that we can do. We can uh, hit up the dead scar here, which it looks like somebody has already done. Like bone pillagers, here they are. I really feel like I'm playing Affliction right now because, like, everything I have is dot spells. Which do deal some pretty decent damage, though, let's be honest. Agony, Corruption, and Drain Life. Like, even Drain Life is technically a dot spell. It's not a damaging spell. It deals damage over time. It's just channeled. So... It's like all I have right now are damage over time spells, and I kind of dislike it a lot. <laughs> so, but what can you do? Hey look, Soul Shard. Not that we have any abilities to use them! <laughs> but whatever. Hey, another Soul Shard. 
I love how I'm just generating soul shards for no reason. I, need to get closer. I mean, I get that it's like, oh, we gave you this ability to generate soul shards for when you get an ability for you know, later on when you do get the ability to use your soul shards. But it's like, could I not have just gotten an ability that generate that like uses soul shards too? I know, I know. They can only give you one ability every like three or four levels, so. That's why they have to break it up, make each level feel like, you know, it, like you're actually gaining something. Even though at level 90, you don't gain any new abilities. Seriously, there's no new abilities between levels 90 and uh, 100. I think there is 90, but I don't think there's anything between 91 and 100. We don't, we don't anticipate the Scourge letting up on their attacks anytime soon. We still appreciate any help we get guarding the Scar. We will have justice. Guards, laggings, which are literally not any better. Are those like worth more gold? They are actually, so I will just keep hold of the ones that are lower. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and finish this quest up before we end this episode. So it's a little bit longer of an episode, but that's alright. I mean, I usually do like 15 to 20 minute episodes. Um, I mean, this is a big game, and it's going to be a long game. So, because I plan to get to like everything all the way through Legion. Um, what calls for this interruption to my lecture, Warlock? You say these two incompetent fools bribed you to lie to me? You've done very well in coming to me, Ronowen. I hope you learn a valuable lesson today, Ronowen. Never trust someone else to lie for you. I want you to go back to my two dim-witted students and discipline them using this wand. My magic tells me that you'll find them along the road to the west on the other side of the dead scar. Come back to me after you've done this. I'll give you a small reward Remember for the sun. But this is why I wanted to use the heirloom mount here because we have to go all that way back to that first guy and then come all the way back here again. Plus, um, our other quests are way the heck over here, so we're probably going to just use the heirloom mount to get between all of those. So, I'm also going to try to log out outside of inns when I'm not playing. That way I get as little resting experience as possible. Because I really want you guys to be able to see like as much of the game as possible and like as many of the quests as I can possibly do. Um, so I really want to not like have too much resting experience. So Yes. Princess Raylan. I like this part. What? Oh not this again. Now the second one is always my favorite. Hitting this guy with the uh, the wand. This one's always my favorite. I always do it like twice because I love it. It's so much fun. Because like his reaction is just awesome. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Man, I am like really. <laughs> I'm like really weak here. <laughs> my goodness. You can't do this to me! We had a deal! I would like to slash laugh at him. <laughs> I always like to slash laugh at him because of the fact that uh, he, um, you know, has the, uh, like, the, he's, the, you know, I know what I'm trying to say, I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> oh boy. But, like, because of the fact that, like, he thought that I would, like, honestly lie. You know, it's like, you really thought that I was going to, like, tell the guy that it was my fault when it was yours? I mean, let's be honest. You know, it, it, don't trust somebody else to lie for you. You know, he should have taken the book back and, you know, gone, you know dealt with that. Not sent somebody else to do it for him. So, but what can you do? When you're an idiot, like he is, 
<laughs> so. And with that, we finally have this quest completed. Because we're literally just about to turn it in. I think this guy gives me another bag for completing this quest. Which is nice. So. We'll have to go into Silver Wind. So, Silver Wind. Silver Moon Our next episode. And get uh, tailoring. Um, did you do what I asked of you, Bonowin? Excellent job, Bonowin. Don't worry, they're not stuck in that form permanently. Their apprenticeship, however, won't be restored until they end the battle. The reckoning is at hand. Yay, leveled up. Alright, so I guess in the next episode, um, we will go ahead and head off, if I remember, into Silver Moon to get, like, tailoring and stuff. Because we do have, like, linen cloth, so it'd probably be a good idea to start picking that up while we're still, like, collect while we're collecting that, so. Um, but again, that might require me to actually, like, remember <laughs> that um, I need to do that on the next episode, so. Um, that said, I think that's it for this episode, so I will catch every pony next time. Keep calm and punny on, everybody. <laughs>